Every time I wake up in a new place, I love it because Bali has so many different moods and in Uluwatu it's super nice but I've got used to it. So this is new for me so I can't wait to take my scooter and explore around and there are so many rice terraces. This is what I love about this area because in Uluwatu there are not. You have the surfing scene, you have amazing cliffs but here is totally different. So I always get the feeling of going on holidays when I go to another area of Bali. I can't wait to go with the scooter and explore the new place. It's quite early, so probably I'm gonna have some breakfast. Okay, my bike is down. Okay, now I'm gonna have to change the motorbike. Wow, that was scary. Oh my god, it let me down in the middle of the road. Shit, again. Shit. <laughs> this is the reality of renting bikes in Bali. I'm gonna risk it and try to go, but I don't trust this bike anymore. I'm going to try to bring it to the breakfast place because the guy who rented me the scooter is not answering, so I'm gonna try to bring it there. Wish me luck because the traffic is insane, so I hope it's okay. Day. I'm using the scooter which is not working properly so I'm just hoping it's not going to let me down because the guy didn't answer to me so imagine if it's completely dead the scooter so fingers crossed <laughs> the scooter is not gonna let me down because if it lets me down in the middle of nowhere I don't know what I'm going to do so let's see for how long this scooter survives and then when he answers, I will swap the scooter, 100%. Because I don't trust it anymore. This is so beautiful. There are rice fields everywhere. So we are in Temagi and I love this area because there are so many rice fields. There is construction going on as well, but it's understandable because Bali is getting crazier and crazier. But this area is quite good still. It's super nice to get to discover the area and it's such a different feeling to Luwatu. So yeah, I feel like I'm on holidays for a few days. I love it.
hot. <laughs> I'm still not getting used to it after already almost nine months since I moved from London to Bali. It's crazy. Time goes so fast. But yeah, I'm not gonna complain about the weather because I love it. I prefer days than rain all the time and cold like in London. Anyway, I love it here. I don't know if I want to live here, but I'm considering it for many reasons. But for me, Uluwatu is home and I love the landscapes there. The cliffs, the beach clubs are incredible just to hang out during the day, eat some nice food with the sea views. I love Uluwatu so much and it's way less busy and I love that and less traffic, but you cannot have it all. The problem with Uluwatu is that I live so far away from the rest of the island and as a photographer, I would like to be closer to everything, closer to Ubud, to Ahmed, to do some free diving, to waterfalls, to sediment, to other places of Bali. And in Uluwatu, I'm very far away because I'm literally in the corner, south, south, south of the island. And also the community. There is a huge creative community here in this area. I'm in Pererenan right now. It's my favorite place. Pererenan, Semagian Sese. You saw in the video how beautiful it is. And I love to drive here. And you have this local culture here that you don't get in Uluwatu. Watu. Of course there are locals, but there are not rice terraces and you don't breathe really the culture too much over there. It's more like a surfing culture, which I love. There is still a few days here for me to consider. So let's see towards the end of the video what I decide to do. I'm burned <laughs> pretty badly. Look at my chest. This was in the scooter before. I've been quite long riding around, super excited to discover the area. So yeah, it is what it is. I did pretty well, to be honest, in Bali. Since I moved here, I didn't burn. I did very good at being careful with the sun, but in the scooter, sometimes it's unavoidable. I just need to remember to use sunscreen <laughs> before I ride the scooter. Anyway, the lighting outside is so beautiful right now because it's just one hour before sunset. So I'm just gonna take the scooter and improvise. I'm just gonna go around, explore and see if I take some photos because the lighting is so beautiful. I love it. And the landscape you saw before, it's incredible. So let's see what we take. I'm just gonna take, I'll show you. So this is my tote bag. I use it for everything, to go to the gym, to carry my camera gear, <laughs> for everything. And I have here a camera insert, as you can see there. And I have my 7200. Maybe I can take some photos of locals working the land. And that's it. This is the space for my camera, the one I'm using right now. And that's it. I don't have anything else. Stray dogs, you have to be careful always with the scooter. I used to be here, just there. The lighting, seriously, so beautiful. Thank you. Right for sunset. Oh. 
wow, this is nice. That didn't go as expected. <laughs> I wanted to find some locals to take nice portraits, but I couldn't see any. So we just came to the beach to watch the sunset. So at least I'm gonna chill. I don't know if I'm gonna take some photos of the sunset with the 7200. Let's see how it goes. I never took proper pictures of the sun with the telelens. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's see if we have a good sunset today. Can you actually believe? <laughs> There is no sunset either, so it's been a fail. But it hasn't been a fail because I had so much fun riding around and the landscape is so beautiful. Many times as photographers and content creators, we are so focused on getting content and photos that then we feel like it was a waste of time. And it wasn't because I did enjoy, I'm enjoying myself here. Watching the sunset, well, the no sunset, <laughs> the people around the sea and riding around the rice terraces so sometimes this is a reminder for myself as well we have to appreciate the moments rather than just focus on recording and getting content because it's totally fine i didn't get it what i wanted to do but there is still vlog going on so let's see let's see for sure i want to take more photos but maybe i have to come earlier i left home a little bit too late and probably the locals maybe are working earlier and you're gonna be wondering, it's like, what about the sunrise? Um, comment below, what do you prefer? But I personally prefer golden hour. I prefer the sunset. I think, plus it lasts longer as well, the golden hour. And I think it's more beautiful, the tones, but some sunrises are good as well. So I may give it a shot for sunrise or maybe not, because tomorrow the festival is starting and I want to go to the open ceremony at 2 p.m. So we'll see, we'll see, there is still days left let's go home <laughs> there is no light anymore but it's not a fail if i had fun and i enjoyed the landscape <laughs> I'm gonna go to Pilates. Since I came to Bali, I fell in love with Pilates. I didn't used to like it because when I went in London, it was very slow. You did barely nothing apart of stretching. But here it's crazy. Like it's very hardcore and they have different levels of classes and you target different muscle groups. And I'm loving it. And there is a studio here in Pererenan. I used to come when I visit here. And I'm coming back today, so I think you're gonna like the studio. It's very industrial looking and I love it. And they have so many classes. And apparently today I'm going to the hardest one. I've never been in that one, so I'm looking forward. And I don't know if it's a good idea because I'm gonna go to a music festival and it's three days festival <laughs> in Nuanu City, which is a very new up and coming place here in Bali. And they call it the creative city and it's so beautiful inside. They do so many events. So I'm looking forward to it. And I don't know if I'm doing right going to Pilates and getting tired before starting my festival marathon. <laughs> but I'm gonna go because it's my morning routine with my matcha latte. So I'm ready for today and we're gonna go to the studio. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. 
I'm Laura. That class was super intense. It's the hardest of all of them, apparently, and it's my first time I go to that one. It was great. I feel very awake now, <laughs> ready for the day. From London to this, it's been such a game changer. I'm sure you agree from the concrete jungle to the rice paddies breathing nature every single day amazing people because the locals are amazing always smiling it's just such a happy place oh, I feel amazing now <laughs> I mean, I'm tired, but it's very good tired. I feel very awake, I'm very ready for the day. But it was a very hard class, even though I enjoyed it and I loved it. I can feel already my muscles are gonna be achy. Even holding the camera now is a bit too heavy because it's a big camera, I have to say. It's my photography camera. Because for those new here, I'm a professional photographer. I teach photography on this channel. But I'm doing vlogs as well of my life in Bali because I moved from London to Bali. So yeah, I do travel vlogs and then I teach photography. So if you are into that, make sure to subscribe to my channel. So yeah, I'm gonna take it easy now. I'm gonna eat something nice and filling, good protein. And I'm gonna get ready to go to the festival. I'm going to this festival, which is called Suara Festival, and I'm very excited because it's not just about music. It's going to be three days full of events, workshops, light shows, art exhibitions, yoga, meditation, live music events, obviously. So it's like a mix of everything. So it's a very creative festival. So obviously I have to go. And it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's the reason why I came all the way from Uluwatu to here, because I wanna go. And I'm going by myself, because I didn't know anyone who wanted to come. Actually, I'm gonna meet two girls I met in Facebook groups, because that's the good thing about Bali. There is a lot of community, and there are many Facebook groups and WhatsApp groups to hang out with solo travelers and people who are here as well. So yeah, I'm very excited. That's the thing I love about traveling solo as well, that you are being pushed all the time to meet new people, and that's something I love. I'm not gonna take my scooter because even the festival recommends you to don't take it. I'm gonna take Gojek and that's it. I don't have to worry about anything. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Hello. Where do you come from? Wanna take some pictures with me? Oh wow. <laughs> oh. What are you exactly? Huh? Oh, it's like uh, cat food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't nice. speak English too good, yeah? It's, a, it's perfect, perfect English. <laughs> nice. <laughs>
Okay, here I am. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did nothing for two days because three days of festival, it was way too long, way too long because I'm not used to going out anymore. No regrets. I danced like crazy. I danced for hours and hours during three days. I met incredible people, like lovely people. We connected so well and I had so much fun. I went to the festival alone the first day with a girl I met in one of the groups in Facebook. She was lovely, we keep in touch, and then we met many more people in the festival. It's just incredible to travel alone because you get to meet so many people. I've got so comfortable at being alone and this is amazing. This is incredible because you get to meet many more people. So I came to Lima Beach, which is quite nice. I'm not going to say amazing because I live in Uluwatu and Uluwatu, I mean, always wins in terms of beaches. But yeah, it's lovely. It's less crowded. I don't like Changu really. So I'm hanging out around Pererenan, Temagi, Lima Beach, and I love it here, I have to say. It's winning my heart. It's really winning my heart because there is a lot going on here. There is more creative community. I'm meeting more people here than all my months living in Uluwatu. And I did meet people in Uluwatu. And of course people live in Uluwatu, okay? And I love Uluwatu, don't take me wrong. It's amazing. But for my job and for what I do, I would love to have more creative friends and everyone lives here. Everyone I admire, filmmakers, photographers, they are in this area. So yeah, that for me, it's a lot. I've been socializing a lot here and I just love it. I came here for the sunset, by the way, but I don't think it's gonna be sunset. It's very cloudy, but it's very nice anyway. It's just beautiful to see everyone around just hanging in the beach. I'm so excited right now because there is something I wanted to do for a very long time since I came to Bali and I couldn't do it because I don't live in this area. And when I came here, it was all the time fully booked because it's very popular apparently. But I just checked and there was one space available and I managed to take it, so I'm gonna go later. And that's puppy yoga. So basically you are doing a normal yoga class surrounded by little doggies, <laughs> by little puppies. So I love this. I can't wait to go because if doing yoga is relaxing enough, imagine around puppies. I'm dying for it. And I love the concept as well, the cause, because those puppies are coming from animal associations and they're going to be adopted. So they are coming to the class to learn how to socialize since they are little. So I love everything about it. Obviously, I'm going to put a link below to this activity in case you come to Bali or you are thinking about it you can check it out, it has amazing reviews. And I'm gonna link more activities as well, because there is something about Bali that I love, obviously, that's why I moved here. You never get bored. You can do a million things, okay? All moods. You can go into nature, you can go hiking, free diving, scuba diving, surfing, yoga, pilates, the gyms here are incredible. I don't know, you can hike volcanoes, obviously, go on a boat trip. There are so many things to do. So I'm gonna link some activities below. But definitely, I'm going to put the direct link to this puppy yoga class. So I'm going to get changed and hopefully I can record a little bit for you. Let's see. Oh my god, so much love in a place. 
puppy love. It was so nice you have to do it, guys. So happy. Your heart melts. They are so tiny and they have this puppy breath. I don't know if you know what I mean, you have dogs. Oh, amazing. Okay, I'm ready with all my photography gear, which is super heavy. I didn't want to forget anything. It's the worst part of packing, packing my gear. You have cables, chargers, cameras, drones, but I love it. It's what I do for a living. I've chosen this career, so I'm not gonna complain. So yeah, it's already a bit late for me because it's 20 to 10. So I hope the traffic is not gonna be too bad. I'm back to Luvatu, I'm back home. And I will let you know later my thoughts between both places and what I'm gonna do. I'm still divided a little bit, but we'll let you know later. I'm gonna jump in the taxi and let you know. I'm back, finally. <laughs> the traffic, it's been bad, actually. It could have been worse. Let me leave the backpack. It's very heavy. Ooh. My back is suffering with all this gear. Yeah, the traffic, it's been bad, but it could have been worse. Anyway, it's not too bad. It's 10 to 12. So yeah, I'm finally home. And this is where I live, but you have a full tour of my YouTube channel, of my villa. And the problem is that I have traffic next to the villa. So many times I struggle to record and the living room, as you can see, is open and it's very hot. So it's very hard to work here. So yeah, it's very hard to find a new villa in Uluwatu. And in Pererenana and Sese, where I've been now in that area, it's easier to find a good place and cheaper as well than Uluwatu. I just love it here. I don't know what I'm going to do. I had an incredible time and I think I'm gonna move to that area because for me, it gives me a lot of life to hang out with other creatives. I met so many people in over a week in that area and that's giving me life and that's what I need in Bali because what's the point to come here because I really wanted to come here for networking as well and to collaborate with other creatives if I'm gonna be more isolated. And for sure, there are people living in Uruwatu. I love it here, I don't wanna leave. It's so beautiful and less traffic, but I feel like in Sese and Pererenan, as a photographer, I'm closer to everything. I'm very close to Ubud. I'm close to many other areas in Bali. So for me, it's gonna be more convenient. Anyway, I'm gonna focus now in Spain because I'm leaving the day after tomorrow. And it's the first time I'm visiting my family 
since I moved to Bali nine months ago. So I really hope you enjoyed it and probably I will do more like this and I will keep bringing you educational content about how to make a living with your camera. So if you are into this, please subscribe to my channel because I bring weekly videos and I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Big love from Bali.